Welcome back everybody, my name is Nick930 and today we are taking an in-depth look at Far Harbor, the first major expansion for Fallout 4. So Far Harbor is a coastal island off the coast of Maine and can be accessed at any time by using a boat up in the top northeast corner of the Commonwealth map. There is a lengthy bit of story here in this expansion with at least 30 some quest lines to complete along with tons of new locations to explore. Far Harbor has lots of new buildings, lots of new enemies, weapons, and more to discover and will take you several hours to really fully explore. It took me, I want to say like 10 to 12 hours total, so there is a lot of content here. I played through Far Harbor using the new survival mode, so my playtime was significantly longer due to all the time I had to spend walking to and from settlements for supply runs. But I never really felt like I was walking back and forth, that's the good thing. The map is really diverse with tons of interesting landmarks to discover, like this bowling alley here or an outdoor drive-in theater. They've also added in a few of the new locations that you can turn into settlements, which I love because I had a ton of fun building massive settlements uh, back in the main game. These new locations can also feature some new enemy types, including the angler, which is a sort of mutated angler fish with legs that can spit fireballs at you. There's a couple of other really cool enemy types, but I don't really want to spoil that for you all. The new weapons are also pretty cool, ranging from harpoon guns, radium rifles, and lever action rifles. I really enjoyed using the lever action rifle, I used it for most of my playthrough, but the one problem I had with it was the reload animation. Even if you only fire one round, you had to sit through a full five round reload animation and it's really annoying. This can be really frustrating when you're in a firefight. On the technical side, Far Harbor looks gorgeous, but the frame rate is really unstable, especially considering how much better it plays in the main game. The thick fog mixed with the intense volumetric light that comes through the trees can really drop that frame rate down. Uh, I mean, I have a very powerful PC and I was still struggling. I was getting maybe 50 frames per second. I also had a game crash at least five times throughout my entire playthrough, resulting in a lot of lost progress thanks to survival mode's strict only save by sleeping rule. These crashes were sudden and entirely random, occurring mostly after long play sessions and not even leaving as much as an error message behind. I also ran into a bug involving one of the quests. An NPC will task you with hunting down a big beast out in the woods, and when I tried to investigate, the quest marker had disappeared and never returned. It's a real shame because I was looking forward to getting into a big fight with whatever was out there. All in all, I would say this expansion pack is fantastic, definitely worth checking out if you enjoyed Fallout 4. However, I can't in good conscience recommend this DLC at the full price, simply because the price of this DLC was originally only $12. That was a really shady and unforgivable move by Bethesda, and honestly, it was really unnecessary. The expansion is great, totally worth $25 on its own, but I picked up the Season Pass for only $30 back when it was really cheap, and that included Far Harbor and all the DLCs before it. So, I recommend that you all wait this summer for a nice sale, pick this up half off, and it'll totally be worth it. Tons of playtime, and the map is a lot of fun to go through. It's kind of a little bit more interesting than the main map in the game. So, that's about it. Thanks for watching, everyone. As always, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time.